Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. Here's a fun viral algebra problem that many people requested I solve. If 4b squared plus 1 over b squared is equal to 2, then what is the value of 8b cubed plus 1 over b cubed? You're not allowed to use calculators and you have to solve this in 90 seconds. I admit, I wasn't able to solve it that quickly. Pause the video right now if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video to check your answer or to learn how to solve this problem. So in order to solve this algebra problem, we're going to take a detour into geometry. Start with the cube whose side length is x. The volume of the cube will be x cubed. Now take a smaller cube with a side length of y. Its volume will be y cubed. We are now going to derive the difference of cubes formula. What's the difference in volume of the larger cube minus the smaller cube? One way to express this volume is x cubed minus y cubed. We're now going to derive another way to express this volume. It will be the sum of the volume of three rectangular prisms. Here's one rectangular prism. Its dimensions are x, x, and x minus y. So its volume will be x squared multiplied by the quantity x minus y. We now solve for the volume of a different rectangular prism. We write its dimensions and then multiply them together to get the volume. We add that to the previous volume. We have one more rectangular prism. We finally calculate its volume. We've now figured out two ways of expressing the same volume. Notice that each of the terms has a factor of x minus y. We can factor this out and we end up with the following formula. x cubed minus y cubed is equal to the quantity x minus y multiplied by the quantity x squared plus x times y plus y squared. That's the difference of cubes formula. Now we can get the sum of cubes formula with a little bit of a trick. We start out with the difference of cubes formula and then we let y equal negative z. We substitute in negative z wherever we see the variable y. We then simplify this formula and we end up with the sum of cubes formula. It'll be the sum of cubes formula we need to solve this problem. Notice that 8b cubed plus 1 over b cubed is a sum of cubes. We'll let x equal 2b and z equal 1 over b. We now use our formula and we get the following product. To simplify this, notice that we know that 4b squared plus 1 over b squared is equal to 2. Therefore, in the second factor, we have 4b squared plus 1 over b squared, and we can substitute in 2. This then simplifies to be 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0, and then 0 times anything is equal to 0. And that's our answer. ap cubed plus 1 over b cubed is equal to 0. With the sum of cubes formula, we can solve this problem in no time at all. Incredible! Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.